Welcome to the first episode of Judge Dread the Miniatures Game. This is going to be a series of videos that's going to be looking at the various mechanics and gameplay and also the miniatures and crews and gangs within the miniatures game. The first thing I'm going to be doing is looking at stat lines and how the stat lines work in the game and I'm going to be doing that with a Mega City Street Judge which is one of the generic judges for Mega City 1. So let's have a look at that now. Okay, so here we have the entry for the Mega City Street Judge. First of all, as you'll see from the top, he's 150 credits, which means that's the cost to buy this particular unit. And that's the way the game's balanced with making sure that uh, both players play equal credits. There are ways where you can play campaign games where you can get additional credits and you can grow your forces. But to start off with, then you're both starting off with the same amount of points to make sure it's fair. So let's move on to the stat line now. That's this box here, so let me just get a little bit closer. First of all, the top ability there is move, and that's five inches. That means this model can move five inches. Next is agility, which is their ability to dodge, which is plus one. The way it works for agility is it's an opposed test. If someone was shooting or trying to use a melee attack against this model, then what they would do is they would roll dice and add their bonuses to either their shooting or their melee. And this model would try and evade it using one dice and their agility modifier. If all of the shots or the melee attacks were underneath the dice that was rolled for the agility dice and the modifier, that means they miss. So that's how that works. Now moving down, we've also got shoot and melee. Now I'm going to talk about these in the same section really, because they work very much in the same way. Shooting is for long distance attacks with guns and various other sort of long distance weapons that can be used, things like grenades and things like that. And melee is for close combat attacks only. The way it works is, depending on the weapon that's being shot, there'll be a certain amount of dice that will need to be rolled, and you'll need to add your shoot modifiers and also any minus modifiers. I'll talk about some of the minus modifiers in another video. And then, if the shooting attack was over the agility attempt to dodge the attempt, then the shooting hits, and then after that it moves on to armor and you can see if the armor check will save the character or not the melee works in the same way but as you will see underneath melee you've got melee two dice and as this is a d10 game that means that two dice will be rolled on a melee attack there are some special rules that are with this particular character because they've got the boot knife which has got armor penetration minus one which means it's um is easier to cut into armor I'll talk about that in another video as well and also the day stick which has the parry rule which means if you have that that particular weapon you can get your opponent to re-roll one of his hits because you're sort of uh, parrying the attack and you see if that's successful but even if the roll is higher than the original roll you have to keep that one so that's the way that works next is you've got will um, and that's for doing things like psychic saves and also for perps and law breakers. The way it works is the street judges or, or any of the other judges, they will try and arrest them and it will be an opposed will test. And if the judge wins, then the perp or uh, law breaker will just give up because of the persuasive and intimidation power that judges have. Next is armor. The way armor works is you will roll a dice, a d10 again, it's a d10 based system, and if that number is over 10, as you can see they've got plus 5 armor for judges, so they need to roll a 5 or more, then they have successfully taken the damage without inflicting any hits on them. And the last stat you can see there is hits, and the way that works is that's their life points. Once their life points have been depleted and all the heads have been taken off them, then the judge is wounded and taken off the board. In scenario play, then you will do a roll on a table to see what kind of damage is done. Um, but uh, 
for a kind of like a you know a set piece game then they're just taken off the board and, and that's them also you will see that they are classed as infantry heroes i'll talk about that more in another video and it tells about the equipment they've got a boot knife a day stick a lawgiver a standard issue armor which is their armor value of plus five there they've got stun gas grenades as well which are uh, very useful Okay, so that's the basic stat line of how to read a model's stats and kind of what they all mean. So let's put that into practice now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little demonstration of a mock battle so you can see how this pans out in the mechanics of the game. Oh, uh, welcome back. And um, where were we? Oh, yes, we were talking about the Judge Red Miniatures game. So let's move on to the next part of the video where I'm going to be doing a mock-up between a Mega City Judge and a couple of perps that he's going to be taking down. I'm going to show you how the mechanics work. Hang on a minute though, what's that? It's a, it's a judge. Citizen, you have been found guilty of the crime of reading comic books. These are restricted media and you are being sentenced to six months in the ISO cubes. <laughs> 